Hi, I'm Chad Williams, owner of the Lebanon Antique Mall, and this is the new arrivals video for the show of January 14th, which should be Thursday, tomorrow. Hopefully, you're going to be watching this Thursday morning. Got a quick rundown of probably, if everything comes in as scheduled tomorrow via UPS deliveries, we will have at least three times as much new arrivals. So what I've done here is assembled one each of what I already had come in today. I'm going to go through them kind of one at a time and tell you about them. This is the first new arrivals video I've done for 2022. I think the year is finally getting on track. We were very busy through Christmas. Didn't have a lot of time to do new arrivals videos. And uh, I want to get this back started every week, as I promised you. So first thing, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, we're going to be going through a name change this week. So you may see the name of the channel change. You'll get all that information on Facebook. And... Um, if you don't care, either comment on Facebook or comment on YouTube, any kind of interaction with the channel, I would really appreciate it, especially subscribing. So, first record, looks very familiar. Nirvana, never mind. Good news is, we just got the biggest shipment of these ever, and this is the 180 gram, of course, analog palace pressing. So this is much better than the one that they just put out, the 30th anniversary. Um, this was in print like the week after of that release. A total surprise to everybody. This is the pure analog recording, though. Um, the most desirable, one of the most desirable pressings. Of course, if you can find an OG, that's great. But as far as sound quality, this is about the best you can get your hands on. Uh, we have a big waiting list for those, but we'll have plenty more to show uh, tomorrow night. So if you can catch the Facebook show live tomorrow, then definitely uh, tune in and, and grab you one of those. Next is Accept Metal Heart. And this is a music on vinyl pressing, Accept Metal Heart. I think this is the first time we've had this music on vinyl pressing. You're probably gonna hear me say that a lot uh, tonight. We've got a lot of music on vinyl pressings that I've never had before. I'm actually gonna put some of these down here to help me create some more room. So that's uh, music on vinyl pressing. Next is it's not music on um, it's not music on vinyl, but it's a title we've never had before. That's Deftones Around the Fur. Yeah, Deftones Around the Fur. 1997 album. First time available on vinyl. First time we've ever had it on vinyl. Deftones. Next is Slime the Family Stone, Dance to the Music. I will say I've only ever seen a few of these ever on an OG pressing. And uh, they haven't been in too good of condition. This is a music on vinyl remaster, Sly and the Family Stone, Dance to the Music. First two tracks is Dance to the Music and Higher, which is, you know, probably two of their biggest hits. This is always on the new vinyl, uh, worldwide, best-selling charts, Legend, the best of Ma uh, Bob Marley. Bob Marley, this album here is always uh, top vinyl selling, you know, Dark Side of the Moon, Rumors, always in the top 10. Bob Marley Legend, which is pretty much a greatest hit. Before I forget about it, let me show a couple of box sets. This one here I was holding when the video started. Probably got your attention. This is Guns N' Roses, the broadcast collection. Uh, from a live broadcast recorded at the Ritz, New York, 1988. And then there's another one from Tokyo, Japan, also 1988. Um... Definitely doing a lot of their Appetite for Destruction stuff. Guns N' Roses uh, broadcast. That is a total of one, two, four LPs. There's got to be something else in here. I don't know what, but it's awfully heavy. So, And then these should get some people really excited. I'll show both of them at the same time. Uh, we sold out of these. And a quick little story about uh, Stone Temple Pilots records right now. Core is back out of stock or back out of print, and Purple's been out of print. These are deluxe packaging. They're actually the 25th anniversary Super Deluxe Editions. Each pressing has the LP, so each one of these has one, at least one LP disc uh, for Core and Purple. Then all the bonus and extra stuff is on CDs and DVDs, which is unfortunate. It also keeps the cost down, but the good thing about these is we have a waiting list for both. Uh, there's a waiting list for a lot of this stuff tonight. So uh, a lot of this that I'm showing, it may already be spoken for, but if you see something you're interested in, we can get it for you again. These Stone Temple Pilots records, uh, we had a copy of Core 
We had one copy left. We got down to an inventory for $29.99, and we couldn't sell it, so I knew there was pricing online. We put it on eBay, and it brought $73. I think this is only $80, bucks, and you, you get a new sealed one uh, in a box set with all the extra stuff. So uh, when those single discs always go out of print, these box sets usually are laying around, and people can start grabbing these up. So... Uh, we have very limited left, and everywhere that I order new vinyl from is now back out of stock of them. I bought everything they had left. We got an entire crate full of these, but after tomorrow night, we'll probably be gone. So grab those while you can. Pearl Jam, Bridging the Gap. This is a restock. This has been a very popular live uh, Pearl Jam broadcast for us. Uh, we got another big stack of these, and we have a waiting list for that, so those will get gone quick. Uh, we were really sold down on our Nine Inch Nails titles, so we went ahead and started restocking their discography. This is Nine Inch Nails, Pretty Hate Machine, single LP remaster. That will be available tomorrow night. Here's one that should be pretty popular. I didn't know even existed. Mariah Carey, MTV Unplugged. Mariah Carey, MTV Unplugged. That'll be a hit, no doubt. Ah, one of the very popular... Collected series for music on vinyl. The Almond Brothers Collected. We've been out of stock for this one for a while, but um, this is a really good compilation. It has all their big hits, and then it gets into some of their deeper cuts and later tracks, and it also has stuff by Greg Almond. So it like has the, the so, for Greg Almond's uh, solo release of These Days, which is, you know, Killer also has uh, Almond Joys and stuff from the Hourglass on here. So you must own one of those. That is an order directly from me. You must own an Almond Brothers Collected. I found out these were in stock and we grabbed pretty much all of them. Uh, Pulp Fiction soundtrack. Uh, these are uh, always a popular title. Really good soundtrack. Of course, an iconic film. We have a waiting, we had a pre-order list for these. I've got enough to fill everybody's pre-order and uh, we're gonna have plenty to sell tomorrow night. So Pulp Fiction soundtrack, grab that. Uh, the first time we offered this record, it was on the limited. As y'all know, music on vinyl, usually when they try a title for the first time, they print it on limited, numbered, colored vinyl. We sold out of this instantly the first night we had it. It's been over a year ago, and this is the first time I've seen it come back around on black vinyl. And this is Paul Rogers' Muddy Waters Blues, uh, a tribute to Muddy Waters. So it's Paul Rogers on lead vocals, and then he has this extraordinary list of guitarists helping him. Jeff Beck, David Gilmore, Buddy Guy, Brian May, Steve Miller, Gary Moore, Trevin Raven, Neil Sean, Brian Setzer, and Slash. Uh, those are the guys playing the guitar on the tracks. And uh, 2 LP Gatefold, we've got that back in stock. Unfortunately on black vinyl, but uh, the colored vinyl, I think it was original on yellow colored vinyl, those are long gone. Johnny Cash, The Soul of Truth boot Bootleg Volume 4. This is music on vinyl. We've had Bootleg Volume 3 before. Check out this, three LPs. Um, this is a limited numbered, 1500. It's on transparent uh, vinyl. They're numbered on the back. This is number 1021. Um, Johnny Cash and uh, live tracks, rare stuff on here. Uh, Rodney Crowell's on here with them. Uh, June Carter, of course, Roseanne. But yeah, it has all the information. Uh, the guy, we sold several of these, and one of the guys I know picked up volume three, said it was some of the neatest uh, live Johnny Cash stuff he's ever heard. This is pretty much an Animals Collected, but they call it the Complete Animals. I think this is one of the first compilations Music on Vinyl started doing. Uh, this is a three LP, so that's gotta be getting close to most of the Animals' work, at least their early stuff, but it goes all the way, yeah, go, especially all through the 60s. Um, that's a 3LP music on vinyl, The Complete Animals, Eric Burden. Here's a cool Who broadcast, Philadelphia, a famous recording from The Who. This is volume one. I don't know if we can get volume two or this maybe hadn't come out, but uh, this is one of those uh, parachute label, volume one, first track, I can't explain, my generation's on here. So yeah, that's I guess the first half of the concert. Music on Vinyl Restock. This has been a very popular title for us. Static X, Wisconsin Death Trip, Music on Vinyl, uh, Gatefold. Music on Vinyl is a killer brand. 
uh, on this channel, you're going to hear me promote their stuff a lot. Uh, and the more you watch my Facebook shows, uh, you're going to hear music on vinyl all the time. We, we carry more music on vinyl than anything. It's a very affordable audiophile label. Madonna, live in Tokyo, 1987, the Japanese broadcast, and that is on red colored vinyl. That's the complete Japanese broadcast recording, 1987, Madonna. This was a restock. We sold out of these the first time we have them. Uh, Alice Cooper, Billion Dollar Nightmare, live radio broadcast. Um, Alice Cooper, Billion Dollar Nightmare. And uh, we have a waiting list for these. I had a couple, and then they sold, and and uh, then we had a lot of other people want them. So definitely grabbed a few more of those. This is the first time we've ever had this Deep Purple album. Uh, Slaves and Masters, probably because it came out in 1990 when vinyl was almost, uh, it was very low production. And I've never seen an OG of this, and I figured the Deep Purple fans would want it to complete their discography. This is Deep Purple Slaves and Master, and it is a music on vinyl pressing. Richie Blackmore, of course. Eno Morricone, Collected. There's a Collected series I was talking about. This is done by Music on Vinyl. Uh, it's two LPs, 34 tracks. Of course, Eno Morricone, one of the most famous film score composers of all time, especially uh, famous for all of his Western and uh, also famous for a lot of his uh, horror stuff too. But uh, this is a uh, heavy on, of course, all the classic uh, Clint Eastwood, Good, the Bad, the Ugly type spaghetti Westerns audio file recording. The Fugees or the Fugees. I've never actually heard anybody say that, so I think I'm butchering it. But the name of this album is The Score. Uh, this album always appears, too, on the new vinyl top-selling charts. I'd say it constantly stays in the top 25. And uh, it came out in 1996, so once again, another probably pretty tough uh, OG record to find if it was even originally made on vinyl. If it was, it's got to be rare. I've never seen one. This is Rush, an evening uh, a tribute to Neil Peart. We had volume one. And I was going to get some more volume ones and match them with this. And they're all gone. The good thing is, though, we got part two. So if you've already bought a vault, uh, if you've already bought a part one from us, you can match it up with this. But Gatefold, Live Rush, 1987, Roll the Bones, Free Wheel, 2112, Neil Peart, Drum Solos on here, Force 10, Spirit of the Radio, Tom Sawyer. You got to have it. This is... Paul McCartney, what I call the Russian album, and this is a really cool series that he's doing with uh, Capitol. He's reissuing all of his Capitol albums on indie-exclusive colored vinyl. We've had almost all of them, and there's a couple customers that's trying to pick up the entire set, and because uh, they're really good, they're awesome uh, sounding, first of all, and they're really cool colored vinyl. And this is a tough album to find. Uh, we've had it come through, but the McCartney Live Russian album is, uh, it was an official release, but I think maybe only in Russia. I know it's a Russian concert, but I think it maybe was only released in Russia too, or maybe first released in Russia. And obviously it's been released again here in the States and other parts of the world, but I forget the full story on that. But it's, I remember when I first started collecting Beatles albums, it was a challenge to find one. Uh, yellow vinyl too, and a couple people picked those up from us. They say they sound really good, so can't go wrong with Paul McCartney. Uh, this is the first time we've ever had this Woodstock performance on vinyl, and it's on music on vinyl. Johnny Winter, the Woodstock Experience, live Johnny Winter, recorded at the Woodstock Music and Arts Festival. Uh, two LPs, uh, his eight song, all eight songs, first time in its entirety on vinyl. So uh, that will definitely be. We got also got a couple customers who are trying to get any Woodstock performance that's ever been released on vinyl. They're trying to get it because, you know, the, the actual Woodstock soundtrack and the Woodstock uh, box sets and even parts two and three, they don't have everything. Like, that's Johnny Winter's entire performance. So, really cool to, you know, get those. Uh, this is Stone Temple Pilots Live, and I've never had this before. Stone Temple Pilots Live 2018, and it's limited edition 5,000 on red vinyl, and it includes 3D glasses. The cover is in 3D, the front and back cover. Stone Temple Pilots Live 2018. 
Um, single LP, 3D glasses. Pro Call Harem, self-titled, music on vinyl. We had an OG copy of this on Tuesday night sale, and I was just talking about this because I knew we were getting this in. Uh, this is a remastered uh, mono recording, and it includes replica of the original promo poster. So there's a poster in here that's a replica a promo poster from when this album came out in 1967. And of course, this has um, first track is uh, Conquistador. Um, now, what's interesting is, don't hold me to this, but there's maybe some pressings of this that have wider shade of pale on it. Uh, this one doesn't, but I've seen, or maybe I'm thinking about something else, but I could have swore I've seen some pressings of this, OG pressings, that have wider shade of pale on it, which I think was put out as a single, of course, huge hit. And then maybe they added it later on this album. Buffalo Springfield did the same thing for what uh, for what it's worth. Um, but yeah, either way, this is an audio file, mono, remaster. A tough OG to find, so probably won't pick that up. Uh, been asked to restock a lot of our U2 titles, especially the 90s stuff that's been tough to get. This is U2 Pop, 2LP Gatefold. Pop originally came out in 1987. I don't think that also exists on OG vinyl, so the reissue is very popular. How about a pair of ACDC? Uh, the first time we got this in, I just got volume one. Now we got volume two. Tonight, or whenever you're watching this video, the night we do the Facebook sale, which is gonna be Thursday night, I'm probably gonna try to match these together and sell them as a pair, because this is volume one, volume two. It's a live ACDC show. Shot down in the Big Easy New Orleans broadcast, 1996, volume one and two. Both are on colored vinyl. And then, if you already have a volume one and you're needing a volume two to complete your set, I'll probably see what I have left over, or we'll just get a waiting list because these were uh, plentiful in stock through our distributor. And uh, we'll try to get that match for you, so. I'm pretty sure we have a waiting list for these and they may all be spoken for. But this is Sam Cooke at the Harlem Square Club. It's a live Sam Cooke recording. Uh, great track list. I mean, he's doing Chain Gang, Cupid, Twisting the Night Away, Having a Party, Bring It On Home to Me. And it's a music on vinyl remaster. Um, and the OG of these, the original pressings, have got hard to find. They're not. They're always in bad shape, and they're very pricey. Uh, Sam Cooke and Marvin Gaye stuff. Two notable artists where they're, I've seen their record prices skyrocket lately. Um, there's a little uh, blurb on the back from Rod Stewart talking about how great this live recording is. Uh, you, you've got to own one of these. It's, uh, it's absolutely fantastic. An OG or that pressing. I recommend the music on vinyl, of course. But uh, We've never had this Alanis set before. This is Alanis set Flavors of Entanglement. And this is a single LP. Music on Vinyl. We've had most of her discography. Music on Vinyl has done most of it, except Jagged Little Peel. I don't think they've ever picked that one up, probably because it would be, I don't know how they really license this stuff, but that's a huge album. Uh, but it's also very tough to find. Yeah, of course, OG pressings, rare, but if, that's another one, I've never even seen one. But um, there'll be some people pick that up because that's the only one we have uh, haven't had before. The Cramps, Hanky Panky, The Flanders Broadcast, The Flanders Broadcast, 1996, The Cramps, Hanky Panky, Gatefold, 2LP, Live Cramps Concert, uh, Belgium, East Flanders, Belgium, yeah, 1996. That's one of those parachute live recordings. David Bowie, live. We have... You hear me say waiting list a lot, and for those maybe watching the channel for the first time or watching one of our YouTube videos, so the waiting list is like, live on Facebook, we show this record and I only had three copies of it, maybe five, and we had about 12 people want one. So what we did is we sold the five we had in hand, and then we said, okay, the other people, we'll put you on a waiting list. There's a good chance we can get more of these in, even if we don't get them this week, we can get them next week or maybe next month. So we have a very lengthy spreadsheet all these requests backup people and when something comes in it's automatically yours and uh, we give it to the first come first serve just like we do on facebook live so more of these come in we have about another dozen of them or i ordered another dozen and i think we already have seven or eight people wanting them 
and that usually leaves three or four, as you see from our store inventory here, we like to keep three or four copies of things. Um, but I really didn't tell about it. It's a live David Bowie show from 1976, and the track list is phenomenal. Life on Mars, Five Years, Changes, Diamond Dogs, Rebel Rebel, Suffragette City. So that's a, that's, I've heard that may be one of his best shows he ever did, Nassau, 1976. We've had lots of Jimi Hendrix restocks come in. This is the official label, Are You Experienced, U.S. Cut, that's all analog mastering. Uh, so we've had Axis this week. We've had Electric Ladyland, and uh, we have some more live stuff I hadn't got to and more live stuff that will be delivered tomorrow. Um, but yeah, these uh, Jimi Hendrix reissues are all analog, which are really good. You know, that's what you want. Amy Winehouse, Back to Black. A restock of that. This has been a very popular title for us. Amy Winehouse, Back to Black. We got another dozen or so of those in. They probably won't be around long. Otis Redding, The Dock of the Bay. Uh, this album does show up on an OG or original pressing. The bad thing is, is everyone I've ever had has been low grade or it skipped, especially on the track Dock of the Bay. Um, this is a Sunday's reissue. Uh, they're not too expensive, but uh, people pick these up just because, I mean, what a great song, but also the, uh, the original pressings is so tough to find. Here's a very popular artist, and their stuff sells out immediately, and that's Sublime. This is a 2LP gatefold pressing of their self-titled album. Uh, we only have a few of these. Uh, their stuff is very tough to get. Sunhouse. I've actually had an original. Well, his stuff is not easy to get in general, but this is uh, Sunhouse, Father of Folk Blues. It's a music on vinyl, single LP. Um, remaster for all of our blues fans. Here's an artist we never can have enough of. Van Halen, Hurricane, Maryland Broadcast, 1982. So, live Van Halen, um, 2LP, another parachute, gatefold pressing. Those will sell out again, mark my words. I've got do, ugh, excuse me, I've got two different Roger Waters here, I'm gonna show them at the same time. Uh, the one coming up next was The Wall, and I've got Roger Waters, Us and Them. We've had these before, they probably look familiar, they're big sellers for us. So the wall uh, chronologically came out first. It's when he went on tour. He did the big, huge, the wall tour. This is a three LP with 16 page book. And then his most recent tour, which is what I've seen him on, is the Us and Them tour, which he's, he's doing all, a bunch of Pink Floyd hits, but mostly uh, the big part is he does um, Animals. He also does most of, he does pretty much all of Dark Side of the Moon. Wish You Were Here. I mean, all the classic Floyd stuff. They're both great. His voice is still strong. Um, I wish Pink Floyd could get along and my generation could see him in tour, uh, on tour, but uh, that's never going to happen. Him and David Gilmore can't get together or can't get along so or get together. So you got to see him independently. I've seen Roger Waters. He's coming back to Nashville again soon, and hopefully David Gilmore goes on tour. He don't have to. By no means does he need money, but uh, hopefully he will for the people, the little people like me. Bill Withers, live at Carnegie Hall. We have sold a truckload of these. This is another restock. It's a music on vinyl remaster. A very intimate live show. It sounds like you're in the hall with him. 2LP, music on vinyl. Uh, I love it when he's doing grandma's, grandma's hands. He tells the story uh, about that song, about his grandmother. Very good. Bob Seger's Greatest Hits, Gatefold Pressing, 2LP. Uh, we, this album doesn't come in print too often. And it's got all of the hits, Main Street, Hollywood Night, still the same. You know you know all the Seger hits. This is, uh, if you want them all on one disc, this is it. Gatefold Pressing, Bob Seger's Greatest Hits. Another Greatest Hits title, Al Green. Another artist that we don't see too many of these of his OG pressings or original pressings. All of the classics are on here. Call me. Let's stay together. Tired of being uh, tired of being alone. You ought to be with me. And a single LP. They sound uh, really good, and they're not uh, expensive at all. Abbey Road. So finally, I feel like I ordered these a long time ago, 
But we have surprisingly been out of stock of the Beatles Abbey Road for a long time. And I don't know how that happened, but we order about 20 at a time. It's just like Dark Side of the Moon or Led Zeppelin II or Queen's Greatest Hits or Tom Petty. We order huge stacks of them and then shoop, they all get gone. And this is another prime example, the Beatles Abbey Road. This album has been selling for 50 years and it will be selling for another 150 years. Just like this album, Pink Floyd, The Wall, 2LP remaster. Uh, we've been selling a ton of the newest Pink Floyd remasters. They are some of the best sounding pressings of Pink Floyd albums that you can obtain. Better than, there's a couple exceptions, like Dark Side of the Moon. Uh, there's the UK pressing, the first UK pressing with the right matrix numbers. It's phenomenal. But like Animals, um, Wish You Were Here, some of the other Pink Floyd uh, restocks and remast or remasters we've had, they're phenomenal. Uh, so pick these up. I haven't got a good review on the wall yet, but if it's anything like Wish You Were Here or Animals, it's pretty much the best you can get, especially for 45 bucks. Because uh, a clean copy of the wall sells now for about $50. It's about the same price as a new one. And uh, those have always been noisy. Anytime I've played an original U.S. pressing of the wall, always pops and crackles. It's just the quality of the vinyl. Stray Cats. Picked up this town live from L.A. to London. A live Stray Cats. This is a, on, from their 40th anniversary tour, and it's on blue vinyl. This is the first time I've ever seen this record. Stray Cats from L.A. to London. Blue vinyl, gay fold pressing. And last record, unless I've missed something and I don't think I've had, is one of the most difficult for being such a huge selling album the Beach Boys Pet Sounds, you know, major album, probably their biggest, uh, impossible to find. I mean, people ask for this every day, it seems like. Uh, this is a stereo pressing. They make mono pressings. I've seen these stereo. It's kind of just your pick. Uh, probably mono's better, but I haven't seen those come through in a long time. The Beach Boys uh, Pet Sounds. So, a classic album, Brian Wilson. I think he pretty much locked himself in a room and said he was going to make one of the greatest albums of all time. And uh, he got close. It's not, in my opinion, one of the greatest, but uh, it's pretty pretty darn good. The Beach Boys Pet Sound. So I uh, picked that one up. It's, um, it's not too expensive, and it's pretty much the only thing in print right now, and OGs are impossible to find. So that is the end of the video. There's probably, that is probably one by... By the time everything comes in tomorrow, that will be one-third. That's just one-third of everything we'll have Thursday night. So Thursday night, I think that's January 13th, whatever night Thursday, whatever the date Thursday is. I think it's the 13th. We're going to be having a live Facebook show uh, on Lebanon Antique Mall. It's still going to be Lebanon Antique Mall Thursday. And uh, all these new arrivals plus the vintage collection we've got advertised on Facebook, all the Grateful Dead albums, the original Led Zeppelins, the original Beatle albums, all that collection we picked up, about 150 albums, Thursday. So Thursday, starting at 7 p.m. Central, for about five hours straight, it's going to be hardcore, nothing but vinyl. All of this stuff, grab it while you can. All this new vinyl, um, it goes out of print. It gets expensive while you can get it from me. Get it so you don't have to get it from a price gouger. And then, of course, you know how the vintage stuff is. When you see an original Grateful Dead anything, you might want to grab it because you don't know when the next one's ever going to come in. And uh, prices are just go keep going up on all this stuff. So thanks for watching. Like I said, make sure you subscribe to our page. Like our Facebook page. We're also on Instagram. Uh, we even have a TikTok. I hadn't made a video in about four months, but uh, I will soon. So make sure you follow us on everything for updates and announcements. And I will see you again uh, next Thursday. I'll make another video for whatever comes in. For next week hopefully we can make this a weekly routine so thanks for watching and i'll see you next week